Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Now today we're gonna to take a look at something that was a big part of my experience while gaming in the 1990s, and that is demo discs. Specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the demo discs included with the magazine, PC Gamer. Ah yes, the 1990s. This is back when our computers were big, beige, and beautiful. This is what we meant when we said PS2, and our games came packaged in big, beautiful boxes. Lots of manuals, trinkets, it was awesome. But you know what wasn't awesome? Dial-up. I remember getting a 56K modem and painfully downloading massive demos. It was, it was a terrible time for the internet. But thankfully you had magazines like PC Gamer that included demo discs. Now we're gonna be talking about demo discs here and I know some of you are going, what the heck? Who cares, this must be the most boring subject ever. No, 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 no. You would be mistaken because PC Gamer Magazine went all out on their demos and I'm gonna show you how. It must be really weird for younger gamers today to think back to a time when the internet was just painfully slow. I remember it taking forever just to download one JPEG. It's crazy to think, but that was how it was. And so trying to even download a full game demo over dial-up, I mean, it would take you hours and hours. And so again, you really relied on demo discs like this, not only with PC Gamer, obviously, but also with the console world too, and one thing they really did was just pack them full of game demos, often a bunch of different genres. And this is all either stuff that was brand new or coming out soon. So it was cool to get these and just try out random games. But here's the thing, that's not why I wanted to make this video because PC Gamer went all out. And I wanna show you one of the early examples of them doing that. So here we have the Quake demo disc from September, 1996. And as you see on the cover there, this was a highly anticipated game at the time. People would buy this magazine simply just to play this seven level demo. So let's go ahead and boot up my Dell running Windows 98 and we'll go ahead and pop this disc in. Now you have to remember that 1996 was kind of the golden era of FMV games, full motion video games, and they took full advantage of it here with this demo. It starts off in the cityscape, you fly through the city here, and then you're gonna go down into an alley, and then the demo turns into a video game, which is really cool, kind of surprising. So now you're down in this dirty alleyway, and you can see the PC Gamer door there, but if you take the time, you can actually explore around this interface and find clues to all sorts of interesting stuff. They pack this full of just random things, almost like a real adventure game. Also, you can tell they kind of base this on Myst. That was a really popular adventure game at the time where it used pre-rendered graphics and then you solve simple puzzles here. And to be fair, this demo has very simple puzzles. It actually functions kind of like, I mean, it's a demo disc, but it's also a an advertisement for some of the, the previous magazine issues that they have. Here is an example of a very simple puzzle. You click on the down arrow, it pop opens a panel where you see that two wires are separated. You click to make the connection and then the elevator starts descending. What's funny about this demo though is that the first time you do this, you realize that this elevator is going really deep. Actually through that little peephole there, you see it's kind of descending into the bowels of the city and then possibly into hell itself. It's actually really funny. And here is where it's really the meat and potatoes of this demo. In the basement, you've arrived and the receptionist is the mascot. He is called the Coconut Monkey. Hello, I am Coconut Monkey. Welcome back to PC Gamer. And then the demo continues like an adventure game. If you click around, you'll find all sorts of quirky things like these messages left from the magazine staff. Coconut Monkey, how do you keep beating me at Quake? You have no hands. Let's go ahead and turn left and you see a jukebox there that contains all of the game demos. You see that they organize them by the different systems. And at this time you had DOS, 
Windows, which would be Windows 3.1 probably, and then Windows 95. But notice there is a game called Death From Above, and that is a big part of these demos because there are a lot of these weird, cheap, stupid coconut monkey games that were included on these demo discs. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, they're so dumb. <laughs> but they are part of the charm and there's a bunch of them to discover on these discs. Now let's go ahead and pop in the Diablo demo. It's amazing to see how many great games were released in 1996. And you'll notice this demo disc uses the same interface as before. We're gonna go ahead and explore around a little bit more because again, it changes each time. You'll see here that there's this desk over here. I, I believe it's the editor, but again, just random stuff to click on notes to read, messages to listen to. You can mess around with the stuff on the desk. One thing I had missed on my previous demo was this Rolodex sitting here on this desk. Notice it's the addresses, email, and phone number for a bunch of video game companies. I'm not sure why they included that, I guess for support. Of course, we have more awesome demos in the jukebox, but notice there is another monkey game here called Race the Monkey. Obviously very similar to Sprint, although frankly way worse, but again, that's part of the joke. And yeah, I'm a loser. Now let's go ahead and pop in the demo for The Curse of Monkey Island. And of course they have a playable demo here. And again, back in the day, because you had so much full motion video, it was really nice to get it on a disc like this because trying to download it over dial up would just take forever. And then as an added bonus, this demo disc includes the full retail versions of Monkey Island 1 and 2. You get them for free. But that's not all. Of course, there is another coconut monkey game. This one, Monkey Pinball. So bad. Back in July of 2000, PC Gamer did something very cool. They included this disc right here, which is Classic Games Collection Volume 1. This is 12 commercial games released for free on this disc. In all these years, I've kept this disc because it's a great archive of some really excellent games, including Wing Commander, Ultima 1, Ultima Underworld, The Stygian Abyss, XCOM, The Original King's Quest, Alone in the Dark, The Secret of Monkey Island, Duke Nukem 2, Lynx, Descent, Terminal Velocity, and Roden Track presents The Need for Speed. Now, obviously these games are old by the time this disc was actually released, but it was really cool to have these old MS-DOS games repackaged and designed to run in Windows. Plus, it was just a great archive of some really excellent games. And again, they're complete. And hidden on this disc is Coconut Monkey Fan Art. Yes, this was a thing back in the day, uh, the only thing I can I can say about this is that it was the early days of Photoshop and back then this was hilarious. It's funny you talk to younger gamers and they assume that the original Resident Evil was a console exclusive, but it was brought to the PC and actually it was a very good version of it and they included a demo here. But the reason why I wanted to show this demo is because like so many others, they included free versions of games. And on this one, they included Zork 1, 2, and 3. Although, when I installed it for this video and tried to play it, you'll notice that the characters are all screwed up. I'm not sure why that is. Ah, uh, the joys of gaming on Windows back in the day. You'd have weird problems like this and you'd have no idea why. Now let's pop in the one called quake o which is just a bunch of levels and editors for Quake because, well, that was the hot game at the time. But the reason why I wanted to show this demo is because it includes a reviews index. You'll notice there, there are, looks like about 815 reviews included. So this is a great way to dig through the archives of PC Gamer to read old reviews, to see what the highs and the lows are. So you don't have to bust out your physical copies. Hello and welcome to paradise. We have spent very much time fixing up the island and there are even more fun things to do. Have fun and maybe I will see you around. Another nice feature of these demo discs is that they often include patches and updates. Again, in an era where downloading through dial-up, patches and updates and new maps was just a pain in the butt, it was nice to get these discs and just have it all there. 
It was all stored on physical for you. So guys, that is a quick look at the PC Gamer demo discs that came out in the mid 90s to early 2000s. And again, I know that this is kind of a weird video to do, but if you are a gamer like me on the PC back in the 90s, this is what you did. And when you look at these covers, you, you get a lot of nostalgic going on here. You remember all of these. It was definitely a very cool time. And I'd love to know down in the comments, if you are like me, do you remember these demo discs? Also, I'd love to know, are there any special things that I missed? Like, I know that they hid stuff all over the place on these discs. So let me know down in the comments what you remember finding, what you remember being hidden and special. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care.